What is going on, Senate pals? I am Andrew for Little Ash Gordon, and I am joined by my co-host and BFF, Kristen Stefan Sonpino. Woo! And we are here to react to a film I can't believe neither of us have ever seen. It's a Christopher Nolan film called Interstellar. I'm excited. I don't know how I missed this one. It's one of the very rare few that I've missed of Christopher Nolan, so I'm pumped. I always like me a good Matthew McConaughey film as well, so... Yeah, can you do a good, all right, all right, all right? All right, all right, all right. You sold me. I I (laughs) thought I was sitting next to Makane. Anyways, if you are watching this on YouTube, you will get a cut down version of our reactions. We can only show you a limited amount of picture in picture of the film. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us without any cuts or interruptions, please head on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash jabbykaway or become a member of this channel. You will get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own copy of the film so you can sync up with us. But don't worry, we make it really easy for you. For those of you watching on Patreon or Memberships RA, we thank you so much for your kindness and support. You guys are truly the best. And for those of you watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and smash the like button so you can let us know that you're enjoying what you're watching. Sounds good. All right. Oh, well, my dad was a farmer, um, like everybody else back then. Of course, he didn't start that way. I love when films start off with a story. Like when they, like, you know, it's like telling it. Shutting it down, Cooper. PTSD. Grandpa says you can get ghosts. Well, maybe that's because Grandpa's a little too close to being one himself. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Murph, give me a second. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Find the gear. Grind it. Shut Damn. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, she didn't do nothing. Blew the tires off. Murphy's Law. Shut up. Hey, yeah, he's... Not a nice older brother. No, he's doing a great job. Murphy's Law doesn't mean that something bad will happen. What it means is that whatever can happen will happen. And that's happening just fine with us. Get in. They fix the tire, right? No. He's just going through all these people's land, yeah. destroying like, don't it. Don't give a don't give a damn. I almost got it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Uh, are they about to go into the water? Yeah. Cliff. <laughs> you told me to keep driving. <laughs> well, I guess that answers the old if I ask you to drive off a cliff scenario. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why'd he come down so long? The sun cooked its brain, or it was looking for something. What? A large flat blade. Oh, maybe some kind of signal? I don't know. Looks like they're not going to school. I was going to say, don't worry about them getting to school on time. This is much more important. Brought this in to show the other students the section on the lunar landings. Yeah, this is one of my old textbooks. It's an old federal textbook. We've replaced them with the corrected versions, explaining how the Apollo missions were fake to bankrupt the Soviet Union. <laughs> Yo, this is like... Whew. You don't believe we went to the moon? I believe it was a brilliant piece of propaganda that the Soviets bankrupted it's themselves, pouring resources into rockets and other useless machines. Kind of like Google. <laughs> How'd it go? I got you suspended. I got you suspended. This is Cooper, go. Cook, those combines you rebuilt went haywire. Uh, just reset the controllers. I did that. Now you should come take a look. Interesting this premise is, so far. Right? New world of like... Oh, so interesting. Uh, How did you let that go? Oh, no, he's okay. looking okay. at something. Okay. All right. Dang, they got sirens and everything. Uh, gang, let's mask up. This looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, right? Wow. This is terrifying. Mm hmm. Okay, you don't even know what's I mean, in front of you. You don't like, even know where you're going to, if you're going to hit something. Oh, or something's going to hit you. Yeah. Then you got to get out of the car. Make sure you don't fly away. It's not Morse, Murph. It's binary. Thick is one, thin is zero. Coordinates. Nope. Mm-mm. 
And she, how convenient, she's suspended. <laughs> so she can help him. I can't miss this. Come Grandpa, on. I'll be back in a couple hours, Murph. But you don't know what you're gonna find. <laughs> that. Well, I can't take you. That uh, car need to go to a nice car wash. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we drove here for nothing. Let's turn around. That would be horrible. Nah, I know. <laughs> oh, damn. damn. Oh, damn. Don't be afraid. What the hell? All right. Where's my daughter? You had the coordinates for this facility marked on your map. Where did you get those coordinates? Where's my daughter? Don't make me take you down again. Sit down. Is he? What? Oh, he's dealing with a robot. Who are you? Dr. Brand. I knew a Dr. Brand once. He was a professor. What makes you think I'm not? I went to nearest cutie. <laughs> <laughs> daughter is fine. Bright kid. Must have a very smart mother. It's pretty clear you don't want any visitors. I like how it's walking. Dad! My cocaine! Hello, Man. Cooper. Christopher <sighs> Nolan. Love him. Christopher Nolan does too. We got so many good actors in Explain this. to me how you found this facility. We learned these coordinates from an anomaly. You're not getting any answers from us until I get assurances. Like that we're getting out of here, and I don't mean in the trunk of some car. <laughs> You know, my father, Professor Brand, we're NASA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. NASA. NASA. Smaller scale the NASA. Same NASA you flew for. Dang! We're on the same team. Yep. Wheat, seven years ago. Okra, this year. Now there's just corn. And we're growing more than we ever have. Love corn. Earth's atmosphere is 80% nitrogen. We don't even breathe nitrogen. Blight does, and as it thrives, our air gets less and less oxygen. The last people to starve will be the first to suffocate. Boom. We're not meant to save the world. We're meant to leave it. What? There's not a planet in our solar system that can sustain life in the near stars over a thousand years away. I mean, that doesn't even qualify as futile. So is that what he's going to do? Look for another planet that they can live on? Best pilot we ever had. I barely left the stratosphere. This team never left the simulator. We need a pilot. It's a good thing he accidentally or he yeah. stumbled upon them then. But something sent you here. They chose you. Well, who's they? Whoa. I'm glad they answered my comment right there. How long will I be gone? Hard to know. Yes. I've got kids, Professor. Get out there and save them. That's, That's a good proposal. A, it is, but it's like... 12 possible worlds, 12 ranger launches. Did any of them come back? Their mission was to assess their world, and if it showed potential, then they could send out a signal, bed down for the long nap, wait to be rescued. And what if the world didn't show promise? Hence the bravery. Oh, boy. That's a crazy mission to go on. Yeah. Find us a new home, and by the time you return, I will have solved the problem of gravity. Hopefully she doesn't sneak on a uh, spaceship. When we get back, we're going to compare. Time will run differently for us? Yeah. I mean, by the time I get back, we, we might even be the same age. You and me. Oh, wow. You have no idea when you're coming back. <sighs> no idea. Oh! Ah. <sighs> oh. That'd be rough. I love you forever, and I'm coming back. You ever see Armageddon? No. Ah. I won't spoil it for you. How'd it go? I'm fine. It's fine. Uh, I hate that he has to leave on that note. Mm-hmm. Let's get my kids down. He is. Ah. This is killing me in my chest. Oh, 
Oh, it's so sad. Stage one. There he is. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't realize other people were coming with him. What's your humor setting, cars? That's 100%. Let's bring it on down to 75, please. <laughs> Stage two, separation. <laughs> bring it down to 75, please. Hello, Tars. All right, we're all set. Why do I feel like something bad's about to happen? It's kind of eerie, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I don't know how to like. I'm confused with the music choice and everything. Hey, you okay? Yeah. You all right? Mm. Yeah, I just need a minute. I'm gonna throw up. He's, he's dizzy. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Bring a lot. I mean, yeah, they're doing a G at that spin. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like watching it makes me nauseous. Yeah, no, I get like, uh, be a, uh, yeah. I'd be like, uh. give my regards to Dr. Mann. Yeah, well, Dad. It looks good for your trajectory. Oh. We've calculated two years to Saturn. It's a lot of drama, me. <sighs> Look after my family, will you, please, sir? We'll be waiting for you when you get back. A little older, a little wiser. Yeah, but. Two years Earth time. How many years is that their time? Because he said when he talked to his daughter, like, could be the same age when I get back. Yeah, that's kind of. And they're going into a black hole, right? So, like in space, it's not as long. Like, it doesn't seem like it's as long in the Earth as me. In Mars, let's go with that trajectory one more time. Eight months to Mars, fourteen months to Saturn. Nothing has changed on that. Let me ask you something. Oh, okay, you're... so if it's you're in there for eight months. Why are you whispering? They can't hear you. Dr. Brand and Edmonds. They close? I wouldn't know. <sighs> I also have a discretion setting, Cooper. <sighs> Wait, they're going in there for eight months. The earth looks amazing from here. Um you can't see any of the dust. <laughs> I know you're going to get this message. Professor Brands assured me that you're going to get it to you. Why are you in my dad's truck? He wanted me to bring it for your brother. He sent you a message. Oh, poor Murph. Murph is a bright spark. Maybe I should fan the flame. She's already making fools of her teachers. Mm -hmm. So maybe she should come and make a fool out of you. <laughs> <laughs> so where are they? Heading for Mars. The next time you hear from Cooper, they'll be coming up on Saturn. <laughs> wow. That's so scary. So gnarly. Could you, like, ah. And in those eight months, there's a good chance that something might happen where you don't get out. I'm sorry, Coop. I asked Murph to say hi, but she's as stubborn as her old man. <laughs> I'll try again next time. I would make her. I'd be like, nah. Hey guys, looks like we'll be approaching the wormhole in about three hours. Mm. I could not go in a circle like that. <laughs> Every time I see it, it makes my stomach toss. So a wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. Whoa. Are you gonna get sucked hey, into the black door? hole? No one knows. Whoa. That's crazy. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Mm. Here we go. And here we go. Whoa. There's nothing else you can do at that point, right? Through the bulk, space beyond our three dimensions. All you can do is record and observe. That is wild. What is that? <laughs> it's distorting space time. No, no! I wouldn't touch it. That's like 101, like, don't touch. <laughs> right? Yeah. In every film. I agree with you. I think it's just such a sight to behold. It's like so curious. Mm -hmm. We're here. Oh, 
I mean, I guess if you survive it, you know, then you think you're cool. <laughs> Miller's side has kept pinging thumbs up, as has Dr. Mann's. Um, Edmonds went down three years ago. But Miller still looks good, though, right? Because she's coming up fast. Mm -hmm. The planet is much closer to Gargantua than we thought. So they're going to run into some other astronauts. Landing there takes us dangerously close, and the black hole that big has a huge gravitational pull. Mm -hmm. Ah, bad. Well, every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. Whoa! Whoa! Jeez. Seven years per hour? I could use the time to research gravity. Observations from the wormhole, that's gold to Professor Brad. But make sure we stay in range of Miller's planet. You got it? I wouldn't leave you behind, Dr. Brand. I gotta say, there's the 90% honesty. <laughs> you don't say much, do you? Doris talks plenty for both of us. Detach. Oh, they're detaching from Endurance. <laughs> Taking the rover down. We could just see the collapsed star inside. Is Miller's planet? Can you imagine if we had to move planets? That'd be trippy. Yeah. How about the transfer of people? Okay, we'll take a thousand at a time or whatever it is. Oh my goodness. Fire! Is it just a water planet? Oh, or? so it floats on water too. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, time is very relative. Seven years Damn. per hour. Could you, like, that's crazy. Wow. Seven years per hour. Just, and, and, oh my gosh. Could you, I can't. My brain. Yeah, ah! that is insane. This way. I thought the robot was supposed to stand. Hey, there's signals coming from here. For beacon. Oh. Where's the rest? Towards the mountains. The waves. Whoa. It's coming toward him, yeah? Yeah, that is... She can't get it. Come on! One, somebody's gonna die. Go, go, go! Yes, you are. Yes, you are. This Come is on. really tense. Yo! Okay, he's helping her. Damn, she's not even letting that thing go. Yeah. Go. Go. That thing's going past him. Come on. Oh. Damn. Go. That was impressive, Go. Case. Get out of there. Hurry up. Dude, he's not going in because he's stupid. Stop looking at it. Get in. Yeah, why were you? I told you? you he was going to die. He had plenty of time. Plenty of time to survive and make it. Dude, that was just, that was ridiculous. He had plenty of time. That was I the mean, dumbest way to die. He, I get he the, had plenty. No, no, no. I, I, I agree with you. I think he was just like in awe of like, oh my God, look at this. But no, I agree. No, no, no. I agree with you. My, I, I, my I agree adrenaline with you. would be going so damn high. I would be like, get in, you yeah. know? No, no, no. Like, I, I agree. Like they just waste. He's so intelligent. They, ah. Sorry. That just makes me so mad. Two water log. Let it drain. Uh, you could be right. I told you to leave me. And I told you. Why Get didn't your you ass leave me? back here. Hey, okay, seven seven. Forty-five to an hour. Yeah. What's this gonna cost us, Brain? A lot. Decades. Jesus. Ah. <laughs> Time is relative, okay? It, it can stretch and it can squeeze, but it can't run backwards. It just can't, right? The only thing that can move across dimensions like time is gravity. Where's the other guy? I'm not sure. I was kind of wondering. Maybe he stayed aboard the Endurance? Cooper? Another one? Oh, no. How long for the engine's case? A minute or two. Oh, well, we don't have it. Come us on! Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Brand, 
Man, they couldn't even finish draining it to get out of there. We're gonna spark it. Roger that. Locked. Depressurizing. Where's the other guy? Did we miss something? I think he's still on board the endurance. Okay. He didn't come with them. Yeah, I don't think he did. Please don't hit. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, so you stayed up there on the endurance. Hello, Rob. I've waited years. Whoa. By now it must be. It's 23 years. Oh my god! Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Why did you sleep? Oh, I had a couple of stretches. I stopped believing you were coming back. Something seemed wrong about dreaming my life for me. Is he gonna see what his daughter looks like now in the video? Oh. We've got years of messages stored. Oh, he's messages spanned 23 years. Oh my god. Can't play from the beginning. Oh, this is just brutal. That's insane. <laughs> Grandpa attended ceremony. Um, oh. I met another girl, Dad. Oh. It sucks. He has to miss all this. <sighs> Dad? Look at this. Murphy's oh still talking. Oh my god, Casey Affleck is playing older Tom. I kind of wanted to call him Coop, but Lois says, uh, maybe next time. Donald says he's already earned a great part, so we just leave it at that. That sucks. Ah. He has to miss all this. Oh, Grandpa died last oh. week. Oh. We buried him out in the back 40 next to Mom. That's sad. Orph was there at the funeral, and uh, we don't see her that much, but she came for that. All these messages are just uh, drifting out there in the darkness. his daughter yeah it's Murph <laughs> oh my god I can't I never made one of these when you were still responding because I was so mad at you for leaving and then when you went quiet it... <sighs> but today is my birthday and it's a special one because you told me you once told me that when you came back we might be the same age she's the same age as when he left and today I'm the age you were oh. when you left for years we've been trying to solve the equation without changing the underlying assumption about time. Recursive, it's nonsensical. Are you calling my life's work nonsense? <laughs> we no longer have the fuel to visit both prospects, so we have to choose. But how? Both He's like a mom, a mama canal. <laughs> Your fuel calculations are based on a return journey. Strike out on man's planet, and we'll have to decide whether to return home or push on to Edmonds with plan B. You might have to decide between seeing your children again and the future of the human race. We are trying to reach you. Oh, is uh, Michael Caine? I'll finish what you started. Good. So sad, she's not gonna get to, and Hathaway's not gonna get to see her dad. I asked you to have faith. I, I wanted you to believe. I do, Professor. Forgive me, Beth. There's nothing to forgive. I'm gonna cry again. I lied to you. Don't say that. There, there was no need for him to come back. What do you mean? There's no way to help us. What? To not go to the Do not go to Into the night. Dr. Brand, I'm sorry to tell that your father died today. He had no pain. He was at peace. What do you know? Oh, what should I do? This was all a sham. I think he's... She's talking to Anne Hathaway. Yeah. You left us here. To suffocate. To starve. 
Oh, that's why he sent his daughter up. Oh. It's not the image of the poster, I think. Him on that planet. Okay, so there's a flag there. It means, again, mm -hmm. one of the other astronauts was originally there. Yep. Which they already mentioned. I don't know how I feel. Well, maybe Murph will figure out the equation, then they can come back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe they can rewind time. Oh. Somehow. Oh. Oh, is he still in there? We're about to find out if he's in there. Still sleeping. Because remember, time doesn't, doesn't move the same there. That water looks nice and warm. <laughs> Is that Matt Damon? Whoa! <laughs> the last time I went to sleep, I didn't even set a waking date. You have literally raised me from the dead. Hmm. Our world uh, is cold. The days are 67 hours long. Damn! 67 hour days? I mean, you get more done in a day, I guess. Now, up here where I landed, the water is alkali and the air has too much ammonia in it to breathe for more than just a few minutes and there is a surface the ammonia gives way to crystalline hydrocarbons and breathable air uh -huh. dr brand i'm sorry to tell you that your father died today he had no pain he was at peace oh here He's we about go to learn the truth right now he told you right this was all a sham he left us here i don't think she did know my father dedicated his whole life to plan A. I have no idea what she's talking about. I do. Oh, shit. Well, he, he never even hoped to get the people off the earth. No. What just happened? But he's been trying to solve the gravity equation for 40 years. Amelia, your father solved his equation before I even left. You need to see into a black hole. If a black hole is an oyster, then the singularity is the pearl inside. Looks like we're going through that hole. Your father had to find another way to save the human race from extinction. Plan B, a colony. Why keep building those stations? Because he, he knew how hard it would be to get people to work together to save the species instead of themselves. For their children. He was prepared to destroy his own humanity. He declared your case hopeless. What are they hoping to find? Anything. Yeah. It's got to be the most traumatizing thing, knowing that the Earth's going to end and there's nothing you can do, and you're stuck there. Mm-hmm. Do you have an idea? A feeling. I told you about my ghost. My dad thought I called it a ghost because I was scared of it. Got to go back to that room. I was trying to tell me something, so I have to find it. I'm running out of time. Time is relative. I have a suggestion for your return journey. I know it's that. Have one last crack at the black hole. Once we set up base camp, secure those modules, my work's done here. I'm going home. Yeah, I think he's gonna... I don't know about this guy. Matt Damon? Yeah, I think he's a bad guy. Well, you're saying that he, I think he, he's wants, gonna, I he think wants he's McConaughey gonna, to stay, you yep, mean? Yep, because he doesn't want to warn everybody. That emotion is at the foundation of what makes us human. It's not to be taken lightly. Uh, I hope that's not the case. And maybe I'm like wondering. No, if, I mean he's definitely giving off I'm some strange if, vibes. I know. I wonder if he like disabled that robot on purpose mm -hmm. to hide some stuff. I don't know. Something's off. I guess we'll find out when Kip is rebuilt. He I, he doesn't want him rebuilt though for some reason. What does research tell us? Is the last thing you're gonna see before you die. At the moment of death, your mind's gonna push a little bit harder to survive. For them. Something's off. Yeah. Tars, what's taking so long? Professor, I am having trouble completing the Buddha. I don't understand. See? Yeah, I'm worried about what's gonna come out. I that. think, like, he's trying to take over. Man. Ah, man. Let's go. He's trying to push him. <gasps> I knew it. What? The hell is he doing? I'm sorry. I can't let you leave with that ship. We cannot survive here. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Jeez. No! All the data. Yes. Wait, is this planet not habitable? No. Uh-uh. I tried to do my duty, Cooper. But I knew the day that I arrived here, this place had nothing. So they should have taken that other planet, see? Listen, if you're not going to go, let your family go. Just let save your family. Nobody's going with you. You're going to wait for your next kid to die. Oh, my <gasps> God. No. Oh, oh no, my he's... gosh. Crack. Don't judge me, Cooper. No, we are. The security lockout, sir, it requires a person to access function. So it goes, sir. Uh, I think they're about to learn the truth. Yep. Should I kill all his crops? To make him leave. Hurry. Uh, you better get your family out of there now. Wow, she's going to die. The, the guy's going to kill him. This data makes no sense. Oh my god. Come on, somebody needs to show up real quick before he kills that guy. Man, it's lying. No! No! Oh, damn. Rovely. Dr. Brand, Cooper, there's been an explosion. Shit. He's stealing their ship. Oh, man. He takes control of that ship, we're dead. He's ruined us? Oh, he is ruining us. Dr. Man is insane. Okay, so she got her brother away so they could take the family away. Dr. Man, please respond. He doesn't know the endurance docking procedure. Well, the autopilot does. Not since TARS disabled it. Way to go, TARS. Do not attempt docking. I repeat, do not attempt docking. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Come on, dude. Don't be stupid. It won't lock. Dr. Man, do not, I repeat, do not open the hatch. If you open the hatch, the airlock will depressurize. I think he turned off the radio, the he thing, did. yeah. Do not open the hatch. I don't know what he said to you, but I am taking command of the endurance. Uh, this does not look good. This is not about my life or Cooper's life. This is about all mankind. There is a moment. That was their only way home. That had everything in it. Even the repo. That, that was plan B, too. Cooper. No point using your fuel to analyze the endurance spin. Oh, he's gonna try and catch uh, it. Then they gotta depressurize the ca uh, the cabin. Endurance is hitting stratosphere. It's a rescue round take. You either die or you die trying, right? This is no time for caution. Guard, get ready to engage the docking mechanism. <laughs> God, this movie is so intense. I know. Like every moment. Main engine's on. What you got aboard it? Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, they're getting back home. Killing main engines. Okay, we're out of orbit. Damn. Well, I remember the um, the astronaut who was. You know, killed at Dr. Man's compound. I forgot his name. He met, remember he mentioned to Matthew McConaughey about doing something? He's like, one more shot about something when you leave. 
Mm-hmm. Like he, he mentioned doing something. I wonder if he's going to try that. Hey, take the stick. Roger that. Do you remember what I'm talking about though, or no? Yeah, like with his, when he was talking to her, his daughter, right? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> the 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 guy who was blown up uh, on the the snow planet. He was talking to Cooper to Matthew McConaughey's character. Oh, and said, that's right. You got one more shot to go through the black hole. You got one more shot to do this around the black. Yes. I forgot exactly what he said, but I'm wondering if that's what they're going to attempt to do. I don't okay. know. Okay, I see. Yeah. Scratch your head, Miss Planet. With that gargantua, pull us down close to the horizon, and a powered slingshot around, launching us towards Edmonds Planet. Manually? That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Lander one is spent. Tars will detach. And get sucked right into that black hole. Cooper, you can't ask Tars to do this for us. He's a robot. <laughs> it's what we intended, Dr. Grant. That's sad. I don't want anything to happen to Tars. <laughs> Damn, more engines. They must be going so fast. Oh, I feel so bad for Tars. Mark, detach. See you on the other side, Coop. See you there, Slick. Okay, Case. Nice wreck with flying. Learn from the master. <laughs> you told me we had enough resources for both of us. I agree to that. Ninety percent. Oh no. Side, dipping down beneath it to go through it. Heading towards blackness. Is radio communication gonna go? I don't know if I would have done that. I mean, either do that or you go with the ship. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out if you made the right decision. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. 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 Is he in the wormhole? Yeah. <laughs> what is oh, this? Oh, he caught to the side. <gasps> the bookshelf. <gasps> the bookshelf. At, you, at his uh, house? Yep. <gasps> To communicate with his daughter. It's in her room. Let's go. Oh, was was that him communicating with her? Not a ghost? <gasps> Maybe like time travel, right? Yeah. Is... Yep. Oh, yep. Wow. wow. That is a trip. I think she realizes it's her dad now. Burp, burp, burp. I he went back in time. I did not see that coming. No, not at all. No, no. <laughs> but look at all the bookshelves, different time zones. Yeah. He just has to find the right one. There was code, see? Mm. It said, don't go. Remember, she said that. Oh, she did say it. You're right. Yeah, good call. Hey. Where it said stay at the beginning. Yep. Yeah. Now she stay knows he's up. communicating with him. Yep. In another realm. Don't let me leave, Merv! No! 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 Come on, go to another. Go to go to the new one. It was Come you. on. You were my ghost. Cooper. Cooper. Come on, Cooper. Tars did sail see you on the other side, Coop. He survived. Somewhere. In their fifth dimension. They constructed this three-dimensional space inside their five-dimensional reality. Whoa. 
You've seen that time is represented here as a physical dimension. Earth, the fire's out! Come on! Even if you communicate it here, she won't understand its significance for years. Go, go travel. I watch. We code the data into the movement of the second hand. Cooper, what if she ever came back for it? She would holler. He knows this is girl, little girl. Yeah. <laughs> She's figuring out the equation. The civilization that's evolved past the four dimensions we know. Wow. Oh, that's him. That was him who reached out his hand to her, remember? In the beginning. He reached it out to her. Is his daughter going to be super old now? Like we saw at the beginning. Oh. All right, let's take it slow, sir. Nice and easy, Mr. Cooper. Remember, you're no spring chicken anymore. Actually, you are 124 years old. Jeez. So his daughter died probably already. I think she's still alive. The rangers found you with only minutes left in your oxygen supply. Has the earth been saved? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Where am I? Cooper Station. Currently orbiting Saturn. What a nice you to name it after me. Well, the station isn't named after you, sir. It's, uh, it's named after, after your daughter. Is she still alive? Oh, please tell me. She'll be here in a couple weeks. She is far too old to be transferring from another station, but when she heard that you'd been found, well, this is uh, oh this is Murphy God. Cooper we're talking about. Oh, my God. Insane. His daughter's way older than them now. She did confirm just how much she loved farming. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> <laughs> Sarcasm. So funny. Is this? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the machine we found under Saturn when we found you. Yes. Cars. Oh. Auto self-destruct, team minus 10, 9. Let's make that 60%. 60% confirmed. Knock, knock. <laughs> you want 55? You want 55? She's been in cryo sleep for almost two years. I... This is insane. He left her when she was a little girl. Oh my god, that would kill me. Her dad looks the same. How is she ghost? People didn't believe me. They thought that I was doing it all myself. But I knew who it was. No parent should have to watch their own child die. I have my kids here for me now. <laughs> you go. Gargantua she's on. Oh, he's gonna go be with her. I guess because they're like in the same boat, you know? I can relate. Maybe right now she's settling in for the long nap. <laughs> It'll bring her back. I'm the light of our new sun. I think that was the guy she was in love with, the astronaut. Oh, she repopulated. Damn. I kind of wish that they, so I, like, they ended up with him showing back up, and then. I, I think that was the implication is that he was gonna find her, but no, I. No, I know, I, but I, feel I, would, I would like to see it. Yeah, just see that they 
just embraced each other's arms. This movie would be my heart hurt. What yeah. a great movie that was. Yeah. So good. Oh, it was phenomenal. It's one of those movies too. I feel like you need a couple times to watch it because there's yep. so much. I, mean, I would watch it again for sure. It's it's definitely a thinking type of film where you're processing so much information that you, you could miss something and then when you rewatch it now that you know what to look out for like yeah. you're gonna pick new things up every time you watch it because there were definitely some things like I mean overall for the most part I feel like I understood a, a good amount but there were things that were going a little over my tiny yeah. little head um, but overall, no, very powerful, movie. ambitious story by Christopher mm-hmm. Nolan. I mean, this is his first film after The Dark Knight Rises. I got to send this to my cousins. Both of them work for NASA. Yeah. And um, I wonder if they've seen this because, wow. I mean, it's... Oh, it was a good film. Yeah, it, it was, was very, very powerful. It was very powerfully told. Great storytelling, acting, the phenomenal. Visuals. The visuals were incredible. Uh, the music by Hans Zimmer, like... Yeah. This is also a type of film where it was really intense. Like every time you feel like you're about to br- get a second to relax, it's like it's just, <laughs> yep, it's just you couldn't it, breathe. Yeah, you could like you, like you, you felt would, like you were there with them. And every time I tell you what, they executed the whole like I couldn't breathe when they would like twirling and stuff. But I also felt nauseous yeah, for them. Yeah, and I was like feeling so much the way they just did everything and they started pulling on your love strings you know but also looking at the bigger picture and fighting back between back going back and forth between do you save the world you just go back for your children you know and just you either call it quits and let it be or look at the bigger picture you know I, i do like that 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 fight between there because you are still fighting for your family however you're kind of like well if it doesn't work if you want to keep that time that precious time you're Mm -hmm. never going to get back and just or you know what I mean sacrifice yourself for maybe like a cause that's like nothing yeah or do you sit there and hopefully make it to the end and you know just and the whole premise of this too where uh, obviously like you know the earth one day like you know we could no longer you know be on earth anymore and we'd have to find a a different yeah no it's it's crazy and again it was just executed in such a way where i just i was so invested in the characters and i wanted them to survive so bad and also i wanted him to get back to his daughter at an age where she wasn't too much older than him um i'm glad at least he got to see her even though it was gut-wrenching i know Uh, how's the end she's like She's so strong at the end going, no, no parent, parent should have to see have a child dying. Yeah, well, I mean, she's obviously, she's very now wise she will, in her now age. She, yeah. And, and the line, too, where she said, I have my children around me, and like, and I just want, like, you could tell she just wanted to see her father one last time. And it was a really beautiful, well-deserved moment. Normally, I feel like space uh, films, the timing and everything is normally so slow mm-hmm. that I lose interest and I'm bored. I'm like, I'm done with this, whatever. But they managed to make me feel claustrophobic. They oh, managed yeah. to make me feel nauseous. They managed to make me feel sad. They've managed me, like they executed so well. But Mix the, of emotions. The, the beats and the timing of all of it was done so damn well to where I was so invested and interested in what they were trying to do. But only that looking at the beauty of everything, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. You know, like. You make a great point. There really was not, in my, no. at least in my estimation, not one dull moment like every. Every single scene, I was beyond fascinated, like so interested to learn about what's going to happen. There were so many things I didn't see coming. That's a big thing for me when I'm watching films. I hate predicting things correctly. I didn't give you a moment to like... Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't even have a moment because you're processing so much uh, crazy information. And then like... And it's interesting too, because like, I don't know about you, mm -hmm. but when they're doing it, I'm like thinking of all the things I knew. And everything I've learned back in school about science and stuff. And I felt like I was trying to process and kind of break down and be like, all right, so yes, there's this, there's this. How could you get out? You know, like, and I felt and I felt like I was right there with mm-hmm. them going, how could you? And then the moment he got pulled into the other dimension, mm-hmm. into that black hole, mm-hmm. it was just like, wow, what a concept. Even going straight from the beginning, which was really interesting how... They're already dictating whether your child will go to college or not. And they're telling you what they will allow them to do. You know what I mean? That mm. That's scary. That's a scary place to be when mm. you sit, when they start sitting there and like doing that stuff. But not only that, I don't know if she was principal or her teacher. Mm-hmm. She brought in the book and was like, this isn't the correct 
information anymore. We don't believe in this anymore. Like it's kind of interesting because it goes, it kind of goes into like, now if you have a dictionary, okay, an old dictionary Mm -hmm. and you start going into Google and stuff like that and you look up the meaning of certain words, they're very different now too. Not all of them, but there's there's quite a a few. That's a good point. Right? Yeah. And I saw, and I I just kind of hit that. I was like, oof, like, oh, you be jeebies. Like, Ugh. No, I, I feel yeah. I also um, last thing I want to just mention too the the whole idea of how time and space is relative and like how it works differently when you're in a black hole or wherever you are in space. Like that whole idea to me is fascinating and mm. scary at the same time. Like just when we spent like when they went on that first pl- that that watery wavy type of uh, yeah. uh, planet or whatever it was. I mean, just when they were down there for just a couple or whatever hours they were, or like- Seven hours, seven, wait, seven years I mean, yeah, hour. seven years per hour. I mean, that was insane. And then like when they got up to the ship, they had 23 years of logs of video. It's like, and then, you know, the other astronaut that they were with or the doctor, or whatever, the NASA guy, um, he's like, I, I didn't think you guys were coming back or something. I mean- And for them, it was literally like oh, a blink of an this. eye. It yeah. was so quick for them. Yeah. Yeah. That's devastating. Yeah. I could not imagine leaving my home and going on this adventure that felt like it was like maybe a few weeks or like a month or something. Mm-hmm. And I come back and my entire life is just completely changed. Like, I'm, yeah, no, I agree with and you. I mean, all I'm, these I'm, years past, like to me, yeah, it's fascinating. It was interesting too, seeing into the mind and head. Uh, Mind space mm. of uh, Cooper, Matthew McConaughey's character, yeah. what he was thinking when he was sitting on the porch, just like obviously he saved mankind and that was wonderful. But he's like, you know, I, I lost getting to watch my children grow up and all that. So it's like, you know, mm. at, w- at what cost was this, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, obviously it was very noble what he did. I mean, it was powerful, it was gripping, it was sad. Um, it, this movie just had a, such an array of emotions, uh, it was able to elicit out of me. Um, but very yeah. powerful film, phenomenal job by Christopher Nolan. I mean, Amazing. the dude just, uh, he's Christopher Nolan for a reason. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, what did you guys think of Interstellar? We'd love to hear all your comments and thoughts down below. Uh, is this your favorite Christopher Nolan film? How would you rank it in the Christopher Nolan uh, filmography? We'd love to hear some of your thoughts and also if there are any other films um, either either like this film or just in general that you'd like Kristen and myself to react to, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and smash the like button so you can let us know that you're enjoying what you're watching. I'm Andrew Flash Gordon, and this is Kristen Stavispino. We'll see you guys next time.